<laughs> so, 32 inch fucking wasted Ken here wants a 36 inch belt for some reason. And I cut one, but I fucked it up. Probably Heather's fault because she was talking to me while I cut it. And I had one of the girls sew it. And they sewed it, and it's way too big. It's probably like a 48 instead of a 36. So, the girl's leaving five minutes, so I don't have any, I'm gonna have to build Ken's belt myself. So, we're gonna come down here and sew this real fast. Aren't you sad? I think Ken probably fucked the belt up on purpose himself. Yeah. So that I would have to build the belt <laughs> for him. I would never do that, bro. Never do that. What do you think so far? Well, not usually. Yeah. Usually none. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a built one. Man, I haven't built one of these in years. I'm not. I don't really remember how to build it. Have you ever seen anything like No. I'm stoked, bro. Yeah. The machine will run hot enough that it'll heat the needle up. It'll go so fast it heats the needle up and cuts the thread, which is what just happened. So had I left the needle down there while it was hot for a couple seconds while it cooled off, it would leave a permanent hole in that nylon and it'll burn a hole straight through it. Wow. You, you could literally hold it up and have light come through it. So I'm gonna come back a couple inches, pack it back in, and come up and just run a machine a little bit slower so it doesn't get up. Did you did you work here at Christmas? So you didn't get you haven't had a race since you work here? You can have a race.
some of the meticulous having to go around the edge of the bed, bro. Yeah, I see his face, man. Yeah, you know what's going on all of a sudden. At least not right. Hey, you got some, you got a lighter? So like a professional or anything else, you know, everyone can throw a baseball and everybody can throw one. That's a professional. Yeah. Can't throw it 90 miles an hour with control. So, I can, you can sew this together, but I intentionally started where I did right here because I wanted my leading edge, meaning my first edge here. So I've gone one, two, three, four, five, which passed it a second time, up, up, over, and then back. So that gives me three pieces of stitching on that leading edge. You'll see a lot of guys making belts that look like ours, but when you start looking at them, there's only one line of stitching or two at the most because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Anybody can put a belt together, but putting a belt together that will actually stay together is two different things. Just because they bought a cobra buckle and they bought some webbing and they throw that together, pay attention to that shit. If you see a belt out there, and it don't, not, always that, not always that it costs less than ours means it's less, there are guys that have duplicated our belts that, that appear to be the same as ours and actually charge more than our belts, and it's not the same thing. Like when we put all this stitching in here, there's a reason. Now all this has to do, is just hold that buckle on which clips together and there's velcro in there it's not as important on these belts as it is even some of the other belts that cost more but there's guys making belts that look like ours charging ten dollars more but you're getting a much lesser product so buyer beware you know just do your due diligence and pay attention to the photos a lot of those dudes making them belts will take very good up close pictures which show you that their stitching is complete shit also things like when i sew this my stitching is on this piece of webbing. It doesn't run off onto the other piece of webbing because had I ran over down a little bit and back, you're going to abrade that and you're going to cut that and those three lines of stitching now become three single lines of stitching. So I also use a small stitch pattern so that my stitches are buried within the weave of the webbing. All those things are important. There's a lot of guys sewing, but they don't know how to sew or the whys of it. So, you know, keep those things in mind when you're looking at this stuff. Everything I do, there's a reason behind everything I do when I do this. more lines of stitching you put in something, the stiffer it gets. So I've got two lines around this, you know, one on each side for the perimeter. When I sew this Velcro on, it's going to put a third, a fourth, and yet a fifth line down the middle. Anytime you have Velcro more than one inch, you should have a line of stitching down the middle to hold it down. So when this belt's done, there's five lines of stitching. The webbing's already very stiff to start with. Those five lines of stitching just make it that much stiffer.
What's up? Yeah, give me just a second. I'll be done in like two minutes. Nice, bro. Thanks for the detail, man. Thanks, bro. Not too bad, huh? See your face change. You in the zone, bro. So, everybody, <laughs> what time is it? It's 5.15. Five. Like, the shop's closed. Like, all these people can leave work. Everybody mm -hmm. in there that's still working is working extra hours. They do that all the time. That happens constantly here, and they'll be here on Saturday, too. 